Well, we I, I don't know if fighting off the gremlins is the right thing to say because clearly we've been fighting off not only signal issues but comms issues too. So it's been a bit of a tough afternoon at the office. Well, a tough day all in all. But we've been sitting here with our hippo friend at Treehouse Dam and hoping that Tingana was going to show up at some point or at least vocalize that we could be able to follow up on his calls and see where he is. But at this stage, it's all very, very quiet. But our hippo looks very cool in the infrared. He's got these beady little eyes that sort of face you. And he was facing us just now, and you could see it quite clearly. But now all we've got is an ear, and the reflection is super cool. Because of the sort of time of the day that we're at, there's no wind whatsoever. So when he sits dead still, we get this amazing reflection of his eyes and his ears in the water itself. And I wonder if he's not starting to make his way towards the edge to get out. He's right on the fringe of the dam itself and I wonder if it's just not time to start getting out and moving and going off and start feeding again. Let's just see how he goes. But he's definitely creeping closer and you can see most of his back is now exposed. He's far less shy than what he was during the day. It seems that this guy at night knows he's, you know, things get darker, it's a lot more comfortable and you see this a lot with both leopard and lions. If you find lions or leopards that are a bit shy during the day they're often more comfortable at night for some reason even with a light on them they tend to be a lot more comfortable in this case obviously it's dark we don't have any lights on him whatsoever it's the infrared light so that hippo is not picking up any light itself and I'm pretty sure if I had to shine a spotlight there it would go underneath the water and so the sort of cover of darkness is making it a little bit more bold than what it was earlier in the afternoon Yeah, it sounds like an elephant somewhere in the distance up on the top here. I can't see anything, but it sounds like there could be something up in that direction. I'm just going to shine my light quickly. But there's somewhere up in there. Maybe there's a bull elephant or a herd of elephants that are going to come down for a late afternoon drink. They often do do that. And you'll find this is the perfect sort of time for them to come down before it gets too dark. There's still some ambient light that they're around, and therefore is possible that they can kind of see what's going on and still drink and not f be too worried about crocodiles and varying other things so sometimes you will find animals drinking at this time but it is also a great time to find a leopard drinking at a pan this is now the time that leopards do wake up and I'm very very surprised that we haven't heard Tingana yet I would have thought he would have been up and moving long before now and I would have thought that we would have actually heard him call although he is according to Taylor, was very hungry this morning and he looked like he was in need of a meal. So maybe he's strategically keeping quiet in his efforts to start hunting and to try and find a kill. Or it's potentially he has killed during the day and that's why we've got no tracks of him anywhere and that he's quiet at this time. Although, knowing Tingana, he is the last minute leopard, which means that in the next probably 10 minutes we will hear him calling and within the last three minutes of the show his face will pop out somewhere around He's got a knack for that at the moment. I don't know why he always does it, but it's quite funny to see how many times we get him in that last sort of 10, 15 minutes of a show. It really is quite entertaining. The problem with